Hey, what's up everyone? Spegmeister here. Welcome back to part 3 in my Halo 3 ODST Legendary walkthrough. So from the previous episode, we took to Buck and took on Tyari Plaza. In this episode, we're going to return to the Rookie and search out the city for the second clue. Alright, so heading out from where we found the recon helmet, now we're going to set out to find our next squad member. So the route that I'm going to follow for this is that I'll exit the building here, head out into the street, head through this blast door, and we're going to backtrack a little bit uh, through the end of where we finish Tyree Plaza. And we'll continue down this path. Head through this area, and then through another set of doors. Now take us right to Uplift Reserve. Watch out for those two grunts as you exit. So just like in the intro to the game, once again you'll see signs that are going to direct you in the way that you need to go. So this group we can totally ignore and just continue down this path, however since I don't want to skip any combat, I'm going to make sure to deal with these brutes. Under ideal conditions you can try to stealth kill all these brutes, but in my case I alerted one of them too early which then caused the other two to turn around. You may have to improvise a little bit in order to deal with these brutes. I would definitely recommend having a sticky grenade out. If you do alert any enemies while an engineer is present, uh, the engineer will provide an additional layer of shielding to all the enemies that are in the area. In some cases it can be really useful to take out the engineer, but there is a separate achievement in the game to not kill any engineers while playing as the rookie. Right here, you may have to deal with a potential random patrol. Now 
Now as you get to this part, a phantom will leave off some reinforcements in that side area. I am going to ignore it since it's off the beaten path. Now as we get into this area, there are going to be some enemies that are across the way, including a couple of jackal marksmen. But the important enemy that I want to deal with first is this brute down here. This brute happens to be one of the few that has a cloaking device. If you alert the enemies in the area, you will activate it and he'll be a little bit tougher to spot. So with him down and assuming there aren't any random patrols, I'll move up and deal with the enemies over here. So take care of those two grunts and then kill the second marksman that is across the way. I'll pull up the map one more time. There are no more enemies in the area. Sometimes there is a chance that I would see a random patrol uh, spawn somewhere behind me. But that didn't happen this time. In case I don't have a firebomb grenade, I'll collect one in this corner. Uh, that is one really cool thing about this part of the game. There are some useful items if you... Do a good amount of searching. Now right before we go and collect our blue, there is one enemy that I need to deal with here, and that is the sniper. There he is. Took a few shots to the head, but no big deal. Uh, in some cases, if you don't see him on that rooftop, he'll sometimes be above the weapons cache to my left, and in other cases, he could be on this rooftop. Once you reach the building to the nature reserve, you'll find the optic uh, fire drone or the fire optics on the ground in the pavement, and that'll take you into uplift reserve. Dutch? Negative. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B-Net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. Alright, and that is going to be a wrap for part 3 in my Halo 3 ODST Legendary series. I hope you all enjoyed this walkthrough. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. And I will catch you all in the next mainline mission. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves a good day.